Good day, everybody. Just got back here to work, about to load up the truck. It's got a fresh safety on it. Looks like they didn't switch the drive tires. They must have passed safety. Fine by me. We're gonna go start her up, get the AC running, load up all of our stuff, load up our weasel back there. We'll be on our way. We have a load going into Ontario. We have eight stops, starting in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and ending in Merricksville, Ontario, I think. Merrickville. Where's Merrickville? Have I ever been there? Let's ask the Googles. Merrickville. Merrickville, Ontario. Speak to me, Google. Okay. Oh, that's up by Ottawa. A little south of Ottawa. Uh, close to... Uh, between what... Well, close to Brockville. Somewhere up in there. Okay, and that's where we're gonna end off. It's sort of close to uh, yeah, Ottawa, Montreal area. We'll see what happens. We'll be there on Friday, I'm guessing. Oh, itchy ear. Oh man, I mowed the lawn this morning yet and I got all that dust in my ear. Oh, great. Okay, let's get going. We've been home for long enough. It's time to get back to work. We'll be gone probably a good three weeks. We'll see what happens. Oh, I gotta remember to leave these shades in the pickup. Those are my pickup shades. All right, just getting all of my bedding put on here, cooling off the cab a little bit more because it was cooking in here before I bring Weasel in here. So he's sitting in the nice air-conditioned cab with a pickup still. It's almost cooled off already. Gotta put my bedding together, get his sheet over top so he doesn't get mine all dirty. Get him in here and we're ready to rock and roll. Well, we stopped here in Deacon's Corner just to get a coffee to get our day going. Or our afternoon, anyway. And we're just turning on to the Trans Canada eastbound, east of Winnipeg. Continue on this road for 332 kilometers. It's a hot one out there. It's been a hot week. July, there's a shopping cart in the ditch there with shoes in it. Weird. You see that? Anyway, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're on our way to Thunder Bay. We'll be there in about eight-ish, eight hours, eight-ish hours. We'll be there after midnight. And we'll sleep for our eight hours and deliver first thing when we get up. And then we'll head over to Hurston, Ontario, where we're going to make our second drop of tomorrow before heading further east into Ontario. Well, bud, we're back to the steps. Go on, I'm gonna use them all. Nope, didn't like so. So we're here at the uh, border with the province of Ontario and Manitoba, and also the line between Eastern Canada and Western Canada, just on the Eastern side here in Ontario. Got a nice truck stop here. Well, it's a more of a rest area, I guess, not actually a truck stop. Well, it's actually pretty decent. They built it in the last few years. Paved parking, painted lines, running water in the facility. I know, we're spoiled. And plenty of room for a weasel to do his weasel business. So it does feel good to be back out here again. It always feels good to get back on the road. 
beautiful day, beautiful day. It would feel a lot better to be swimming in our uh, in our pond right now, though. I'll tell you that. Look yeah. at these guys. They pulled in here so that he could go to the bathroom over there. And there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, there's probably about 12 to 15 open parking spots. I'm the only one here. They pull in, they pull the brakes right in the driveway over there. That's the driveway to go around the parking spots, which... Well, why wouldn't you just park in a parking spot? Why... That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about right there. The problem with Canadian trucking that I'm trying to fix by pointing it out as much as I can, even though it might get annoying to you. <laughs> I try to point it out that people just roll into these parking areas, roll into these truck stops and pull the brakes wherever they are and just leave their truck there. Like now they were just stopping for a bathroom break, but people do that all the time and stop for like 10, 12 hours, just right in the driveway when there's 15 open parking spots. Just pull the brakes wherever. Go inside, have a shower, eat supper, come back, pull the curtains, go to bed. And you're sitting... And these are like easy parking spots too, right? You just pull in and you'd, you would have actually been closer to the bathrooms than over there in the driveway. <laughs> it's so dumb, it's funny, right? Why? How hard is it to park in a parking spot? Okay, I'm done. Diesel, how you feeling? I would have used a parking spot, man. They're very handy. And somebody went through all the trouble of painting the lines for us. So maybe we should use them? You're very smart, Diesel. Very smart. What do you got in your face there? You are a very intelligent weasel. I agree. Someone went through all the trouble of painting these lines. Just for us. Yet some people can't figure out what, what they're for. <laughs> Why are these lines on the pavement? I don't get it. Is this some kind of like game for the children? I don't understand. And of course, the guy gets out of his truck and I'm, I'm just staring at him, right? Just staring at him, making him feel awkward, right? Staring, I was outside with Diesel at the time, just staring. And uh, <laughs> the guy looks at me, gives me one of these. What? I look at them. Look at the empty parking spots. Look back at them. Look at the empty parking spots. Look back at them. He had no idea what I was trying to tell him. No idea. And I'm not going to like be a dink and go over there. And I thought it was funny. I was laughing. It's, like, it's not hurting anybody that he parked over there. It's just funny that that's what people do in Canada. Some people. Not all some drivers and everyone who drives in Canada you know you know what I'm talking about don't sit there acting like I don't know what you're talking about you know <laughs> you see it every day too and isn't it isn't it funny sort of so anyway uh, we have another six hours at least to go today yet so we're gonna be driving well into the night like I said we'll be there oh well after midnight so Oh, we might even be there at like 2 or 3 in the morning. Oh, goody. Shoot, we're going to have to hurry tomorrow to get to Hearst. Because Hearst is like 6 hours from there. And i got to get there before that and that and this and that. And we've got to get all our ducks in a row. And if I don't get to Hearst, I don't know if I'm going to get to Sault Ste. Marie for my next delivery the next morning. And then everything gets pushed back. And I don't know if I'm going to get unloaded on Friday. And if I don't get unloaded on Friday, I've got to wait till Monday to finish my deliveries. And then I waste a whole weekend because I'm just sitting there waiting to get unloaded. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I'm glad to see that nothing's changed. All right, Thunder Bay isn't getting any closer. Let's get ourselves going. We won't have many stops. I'll probably stop in Dryden for a coffee and that's my only planned stop. I'll let Diesel open. Look at this beautiful German Shepherd here. That's a beautiful dog. GPS keeps unplugging itself. It has a mind of its own. That's why I call her Karen. She's a very independent woman. Don't want to be plugged in.
right here at the Ontario sign as well. Looks like we're good. All right. This is our mighty, mighty highway that connects Eastern Canada with Western Canada. Watch out that you don't fall off. And at night, you got to be aware of a lot of moose up here, so uh, you don't want to hit one of them. It's so interesting going through here during the summertime. I'm so used to Northern Ontario being under a blanket of snow. But everything gets so green here in July. Very, very green. It's just beautiful. I wish it would stay like this all year. We're just coming into Dryden, Ontario here. This is where we're going to stop at the Husky for a coffee. I'm not sure, but for the longest time, the Husky travel plazas were offering all professional drivers free coffees because of the whole virus thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they're still doing it. Probably not, but we'll see. It's not very profitable giving away free coffee all day, but it is just coffee. I mean, it's not like... They're making the most money off of it, right? But we'll see. People's generosity always has a limit. There's the big Dryden mill. Employing probably half a Dryden. I think that's a paper mill. In 300 meters, slide left on Government Street, Highway 17. I don't know why you're telling me to go left. I, I'm not actually turning, I'm just going straight. But the road is curving to the left. Oh, that paper plant stinks. Whew, why is it that paper plants stink so much? You ever notice that? Like we deliver paper sometimes and pick up paper and stuff and every paper plant just stinks. I don't know what they do in the process of making paper, but something going on in there. Oh, nice boat. Very nice. That'd look much better hooked up to my pickup, though. Well, I think we're going to stay at this Petro Pass here. Just at the corner of the 102 and the 17, right near Thunder Bay. We made it. It's 1.30 in the morning. It's time to get some shut-eye, and we'll deliver this stuff in the morning. Oh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's today. Oh, it was about eight hours of driving, so made a good day of it. Is this thing plugged in? Man, you guys' battery's running low. You need to charge yourselves up. You need to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed, too. So we can catch up with each other right here on my YouTube channel tomorrow. I'm going to be delivering into Thunder Bay, Hearst, Ontario, and making our way, like I said, towards Ottawa. I hope you guys join us for more. Uh, it's going to be some beautiful scenery. I can tell you that. I can promise you that. It's going to be some beautiful scenery today. Uh, right after we're done in Thunder Bay and we head out through Nipigon up Highway 11. Right at the corner of 17 and 11. Some great scenery up Highway 11 there. It's uh, going to be great. Hope to see you here. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Good night.